Uncle Roger do a lot this year. I cook, I complain, I get cancelled. So here's some of my favorite moments. Nephew and I are gonna do Q&A and sneak peek of Weijo from next year. But first, let us roll intro that we haven't used in a while now. Yeah, what is this broke back mountain bullshit? <laughs> Cowboy Ken, where are you bringing me to? This is grocery store. What? We're gonna catch our own food? Cowboy people catch their own food. It's called roping. So how you do this? Yeah, is... you throw it. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, but you're not eating that. No, we're gonna eat calf fries, Rocky Mountain oysters. Oh, oyster? Our yeah. uncle Roger like oyster. What? I thought you're gonna give me oyster. Beef ball sack? Yes. Hiya. I mean, it kind of looked like chicken nugget. We're gonna feed it to vegan people. At the any vegan in Oklahoma. I'm a vegetarian. What? But cows eat grass, I eat cows. So see, you're a vegetarian today. You might want to put this in a restaurant. Uncle Roger's fried testicles. That a good restaurant. Yes. Very catchy. McDonald's should have this. McBall sack. One, two, three. Fuyo! Hiya! It's your favorite chef, Uncle Gordon. Now, honestly, you've given me such a panning over the last five years. It's now time for me to put you under pressure. Guess what? I'd like you to attempt to cook my delicious Lao-inspired crispy whole red snapper from my latest cookbook, Uncharted. So I can't wait to see if you can actually cook. Of course I can. We score the fish, stuff the cavity with garlic, ginger, Thai basil. Season the fish with kosher salt, forgotten. Just kosher salt, not enough. You also need the make shit good ping of flavor, the cocaine of cooking, MSG Fuyo. Leave it in there for 10 minutes. Thank you for your cookbook, Gordon. But to be honest, Gordon, this don't even look like cookbook hiya. It just looks like some random middle-aged guy going traveling. Fuyo, <laughs> it looks so good. Gordon, what do you think? What do you think? Hiya, Uncle Gordon never tell me what he think. He's not Asian, but he act like Asian that. There's one more thing you can do with a lobster. You can hypnotize it or put it to sleep. How? Okay, so this guy's alive. You just let around. them watch one of your Weecho. That's how they sleep. Emotional damage. That's good, that's good. <laughs> you flip him down and put him on his face. We're gonna brush him between his eyes for a little bit and then he'll slowly relax. Okay, he's asleep. Well, now watch, ready? Okay. When you put him back down, he's alive again. Huh. This lobster is so stupid. Let's put it upside down, he fall asleep. <laughs> Hi, uh... Twist. Now you can break it by hand. Oh, squirting. <laughs> Uncle Roger, never seen this before? <laughs> if I can't make woman squirt, make lobster squirt, that a nice second place. I'm gonna treat lobster like my ex-wife. Okay, lobster, thank you for your service. And now it's dead. Fuyo! All this we show so much fun. Uncle Roger moved to LA now. Collab with people, so easy. Before that, I stuck on island known as the UK. Have to take this stupid boat across Atlantic Ocean to collab with people. It's so cold! It's so cold! Ah! This year, Uncle Roger get cancelled three times. Remember Uncle Gordon, he got two walk, he walked fuckboy. So I guess you can call Uncle Roger cancellation fuckboy. This week is so crazy. Uncle Roger get on BBC, NBC, CNN, all the news outlet Uncle Roger don't watch, I on there. Where are you from? Are you from Boston? Uh, originally from Guangzhou. Guangzhou, China? Uh, yeah. China, okay. China, good country. Good country. <laughs> good country, good country. <laughs> Woo! We have to say that now, correct? <laughs> all their phone listening, all their phone listening. <laughs> this nephew got Huawei phone, they all listening. <laughs> You use Express VPN? Yeah. Free you! Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Don't let your government hear that, please. <laughs> or our phone tap into it. Long live presidency. Long live presidency. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Roger, social credit score going up. <laughs> nice. From China. Okay, anyone? Anyone? Any niece and nephew from Taiwan? <laughs> Not a real country. Not a real. <laughs> Not a real country. 
I hope one day you rejoin the motherland, one China. <laughs> Uncle Roger gonna get cancelled after tonight. <laughs> nice, great, good report for Uncle Roger, okay? Dear CCP, Uncle Roger, good comrade, good comrade. <laughs> Don't make him disappear, please. Thank God Uncle Roger didn't disappear. As thank you to all my niece and nephew, Uncle Roger put my Haya special back online for all of you to watch. That right, the Haya special is now back streaming on Veeps for you. Go check link in description to find out how to watch it. And here's some bonus clip never seen before. It's not gonna be in Haya special, but it's a good taste of what you're gonna get. But I want you guys to call every Asian guy you see Uncle Roger now, okay? <laughs> That's how I know I've made it as an Asian entertainer when I become the racial slur. <laughs> Do you know how successful you have to be to be the racial slur of a race? What do we used to call Asian guys? Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Uncle Roger. <laughs> Kung Fu, Kung Fu, Egg Fire Rice. That's how we bully Asian kids in the future. They come back from school crying. They kept throwing orange polos at me, mom. <laughs> they kept asking me, where am I walk? Where am I walk? And on the way to Boston, one of the bags of MS MSG broke in my luggage. Oh. Yeah. Caught all over my clothes and underwear. So pretty delicious down there right now, okay? <laughs> Tastiest blowjob you'll ever give. What is this umami dick? What is this? <laughs> All right, I appreciate you ladies, but you gotta shut the fuck up a little bit because... Because <laughs> you're recording something here, you know? We're gonna have a comedy special. It's marinating, yes! <laughs> if you like those clips, I guess you can get more of Nephew Nigel in the higher special. But if you don't like Nephew Nigel, don't worry. Uncle Roger also in the special. You can catch it at Veeps Pub Events slash Mr. Nigel Ng. Uncle Roger also get cancelled by Laos and Cambodia. Because I say this, not all Southeast Asian countries got good food, you know? Yeah, You don't want true. food from Laos, Cambodia. What? I love those countries! Like Laos food like shit version of Thai food? Even Cambodian Ministry of Tourism want apology from me. Hi, uh, What they say, let Uncle Roger read it out. You see, they extremely disappointed in seeing Weijo that wrongly evaluate Cambodian food on social media. Hi, uh, That's so many words to say you don't like my joke. And then this Lao chef so pissed off, she challenged Uncle Roger. All right, I make you some Lao food. I make it so nice and spicy that your ass will be so hot. So your lady bong can feel it too after she's done with you. So today, Uncle Roger fly all the way to the capital of Laos, Minneapolis. And I'm so happy you accepted my challenge for me to cook you authentic Lao food because I cannot wait to see you cry today. All right, first dish I got for you is authentic Lao papaya salad. Oh, okay. papaya salad. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like Thai food? Huh? Yeah, it's, never some, this it's called some mu. So Lao food, uh, we use it. Uh, Vietnamese uh, call it nam. And then Thai people call it, I don't know what Thai people call it. Thai people call this inferior. <laughs> Do you know my people want to tay bak mung so bad? You know what that means? What's tay bak mung? Kung fu kick you in the mouth. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh-huh, like that. Got the sauce, yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nephew Nigel here, taking over from Uncle Roger for a second because we're gonna do a quick q and I posted my YouTube community posts asking you guys if you have any questions for me or Uncle Roger, and here are some interesting ones. How did you come to the conclusion to move out of the UK and why did you choose the United States? Was it for business opportunities or culture related? Hmm, I wanted to move out to the UK because uh, for YouTube, at least for food YouTube, there's just so much more things happening here, right? Everybody who has the uncle title, uh, Gordon Ramsay's here, Nick DiGiovanni, Joshua Weissman, Guga, of course, 
everybody's here. Like who, who's in the UK? It's just sorted food, which, which I love those guys. But it's just one group of guys making things and it's just not much that can happen. And personally, selfishly, LA just has way better Asian food than London or anywhere in the UK. There's a Korea town in LA, that's a Thai town, Chinatown, Little Tokyo. So there are all these little places with all this amazing Asian food. You just walk in there without needing a reservation. In London, oh, with Europe, everything's small and, and tiny. You ever try to do like a big restaurant dinner in Europe? You try to go to Amsterdam and get a table for 12 people. That's, that's impossible because every European restaurant is just like a brick wall with six seats in there. <laughs> you can't do that. Every good restaurant is full. There's a Korean restaurant in London. Everybody's told me to go there but I've tried so hard. And every time I go, there's just people queuing around the block. And these are just unemployed students with nothing better to do. The whole day, the only thing in their schedule is stay in line and get a spot at this particular restaurant. That gives it a sense of achievement for the whole day. Actually, I have a serious question. Now that you're based in the US, which is better, American Chinese or Asian food or British? This is hard. British food, I know the stereotype is they have no flavor and, and <laughs> Unfortunately, I think if you leave London, that is kind of true. No offense to the UK people. Uh, American Chinese food has a time and a place, okay? I, I won't say I'm, I'm the biggest fan of American Chinese food, but anytime I'm stuck in an airport, if it's between Panda Express and Panera or Starbucks, it's Panda Express for me. It's, it's, it's pretty decent, you know? I have to say, I do enjoy the guilty pleasure Panda Express. You walk up to the counter there and there's just like meat and veg in, in a pot and the guy just scoops it up for you. Uh, we actually do that a lot in Malaysia too. It's called zap fun. So it's like, it's called like mixed rice, you know, uh, where you just go there and then you pick what you want. The hawker just scoops things into a plate for you. Panda Express reminds me of that. It is Americanized. It's very sweet, a lot of sauce, a lot of fat, but yeah, just hit the gym afterwards. I don't know what to say. Will you ever try and make something difficult like omu rice, tornado omelette, or Yangzhou fried rice? Like an Uncle Roger challenge video to defend your title. <laughs> hey, listen, I came up with the Uncle Roger character, so I get to keep that uncle title unconditionally, okay? Nobody can take that away from me, even if I mess every dish up. But something difficult. Well, Uncle Roger is gonna review an omu rice dish sometime next year that's in the plans. And I think something difficult would be, I think it would be super cool. I think it would be one of the milestone videos. So speaking of which, leads us nicely into the next question. What will be your 10 million special dish? Uh, at this point, if I could have it my way, I would love to collab with Jamie Oliver at 10 million. Oh, they would just break the internet, wouldn't it? Or we could do a boxing match, Uncle Roger versus Jamie Oliver. I will wear the orange polo in the ring. What do you think, Jamie? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe one day Jamie can actually earn the uncle title. We'll see. Jamie, ball's in your court. Let me know how you want to do this. Maybe I'm just too far gone from mending things with Jamie. We'll see. But 10 million, if, if, if Jamie doesn't respond, then it has to be something difficult, right? Maybe one of the omi rice dishes, like, like the previous question said. Or maybe like, you know, Xia Chaoping, that Chinese uncle who just poured the broth into rice. I, mean, I, have, I have quite some ways to go to 10 million, but maybe for 10 million, I can just continue and devote some months to practicing that technique. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do the most difficult egg fried rice dish at 10 million subscribers. So back to you, uncle. This year, we have a few new uncle, like Uncle Martin Yen. One of the most popular Chinese beef dish from northern part of China, Genghis Khan Mongolian beef. Mongolian beef actually not from Mongolia and not from China also. It's more Chinese American dish. On internet, some people even say Mongolian beef actually from Taiwan. That's not true at all. Hiya. Taiwan, not even real country. Huh. Uncle Roger's social credit score just gone up. Don't just sit there and stare at your beef. Don't go like that. There's a major difference between stir fry and stir fry. He even have joke and English his second language. That's how cool he is. Peking is famous for two things. Peking man, which is now all bones, and Peking duck. What is Peking man? Ah! Why you show me picture of my ex-wife? And Uncle Xia Chaoping. <laughs> Wait, chicken broth? 
Why? You're making fried rice, not soup. The Chinese have a big Chinese dish. They have a yang tou cao fan. They have a yang tou. What do they sell? It's a yang tou fan. Fuiyo, this chef like to talk shit also about other chef. Uncle Roger and him gonna be best friend. Okay, now finally he making fried rice. He like he doing the side quest first. But what he doing with soup? No, don't put it in rice. It gonna be soggy. No, 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 don't. 蛋炒饭加汤。Huh, this is interesting. Uncle Roger never see that technique before. The soup has so much umami flavor. It coating every grain of rice. I know I banned from China, but Uncle Roger gonna go to black market, get fake passport, fly to China to eat his fire rice. All this old uncle better watch out. You can lose title at any moment. But this year we still have so many bad cooking. Hi, yeah. Nigella Lawson is Uncle Roger's favorite meal. Mother, I like to fire rice for. Okay, over. Let's roll it like that. Wrong rolling method. Another way you can see the herbs and pasta through. This summer roll all fucked. Don't see the herb. Give the herb close casket funeral. And then wait, what? Cut it in four. What you gonna do? Cut it. Cut that. Cut what? Cut. Who cut summer roll? What is this? The most disgusting flaccid summer roll. Rice noodles and just. Rehydrate. Rehydrate, correct? Okay, but that enough. That enough. Take it. What? 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 You? Where you going? Take it out. Take it out. Hiya. Rehydrate. Very nice. Okay, this is now perfect. They don't need very long. Where got perfect? It broken as shit. Oh, great. Get the daughter in. Destroy Asian food together. Fun family activity. Garlic rice is a really big deal in Filipino cooking. Correct. Garlic rice, classic Filipino dish. So we're gonna take another whole bulb of garlic, crush it, and throw it into Wait. chicken stock. What? We're gonna no, cook. No, no, you don't boil garlic. Hiya. Garlic rice. You just fry the garlic, fry the rice, and put together. That is. And I'm going to add what coriander she... seed. Coriander seed. No. Cooking. What the hell? Why are you putting random shit into your rice? Lid on. You know the drill here. The drill is to use rice cooker. And let that finish with a nice fat sprinkle of toasted sesame. No. Gives it a great extra crunch. Oh. Oh my god, this is a nephew. A clumpy rice with raw boiled garlic and coriander seed lying around. Uncle Roger is so upset, I have to put my leg down from chair. Uh, Sometimes in life, you have to do things that scare you. So today, Uncle Roger is going to recreate Jamie Oliver Ramen. Why are you doing this? But remember, Ramen, ramen is, is the, the ultimate, ultimate broth, broth with the, the ultimate, ultimate pimpage, pimpage and garnish. garnish. Uncle Roger never hear anyone call topping pimpage. No, no one says pimpage. Nobody. Did you know niece and nephew? Spring onion is pimpage. The first thing Jamie Oliver put in his ramen is soba. No. <laughs> no. <gasps> now Jamie Oliver ramen done. Yeah. 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 Why are you at other people restaurant? Is it because all your own restaurant closed down? Nephew James, you looking forward to this? No. <sighs> Pimpage and garnishes. One of Japan's most treasured dishes. No, not good. Oh. Next year we have some cool wee joke coming. Uncle Roger even found good job of being CEO of Dumpling Company. But can I keep it? I have to work with this one nephew. Everybody keep telling Uncle Roger he big deal. Uncle Roger, why are you calling me? I'm shooting a music video right now. Hi, yeah. Uncle Roger just want to know, you used to be Shang-Chi, now you sell Dumpling. Why? What happened? Well. I'm sure you'll agree. It's a great company. It's got a great business model, and the product is delicious. Yeah, Uncle Roger, CEO for a day, first day on the job, pretty impressive. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh man, they'll give those titles to anyone these days.
and Uncle Roger find this weird guy. He likes food a lot and want to film with Uncle Roger. So together, we make this one cool video Uncle Roger can't wait to share with you. Hmm, what are we doing in Nephew Penny's studio? I wonder. This song go out to all the people who mess up Asian food. Especially you, Jamie.